Dude, I'm pretty sure that Explorer 61 Wu Tangs every single cigarette that he smokes. <laughs> One of the best things ever in Into the Radius is when you finally complete a priority mission, your security level gets bumped up, you've accumulated fat stacks, and you get to see all of the new weapons that come with this brand new security level. You literally feel like a kid in a candy shop. Needless to say, guns are one of the most important elements of Into the Radius. And as a whole in Into the Radius 2, guns are going to consist of the following. Functionality and visuals. Every single gun in Into the Radius looks borderline hyper realistic as is but in into the radius 2 the developers literally hired a specific employee to focus primarily on creating custom weapon models for the game but what does that specifically even mean for the guns of into the radius 2 it means that since there's literally one dev dedicated to the development of every gun in into the radius 2 the guns are gonna have extremely customized and unique animations. And obviously the guns themselves are going to look way more realistic. Now apparently this process is more difficult, but it allows the devs to create the guns how they want to for Into the Radius 2. Up next is technical systems. This aspect of the guns in Into the Radius 2 basically lumps together things like surface penetration, ballistics, gun and ammo, parameters, and most importantly, recoil. The developers aren't really telling us much about gun and ammo parameters right now, but what they are willing to tell us is that there are going to be more of them. More parameters, boys. For example, ammo is now going to have a much greater impact on your weapons. It'll affect things like aim, damage, recoil, durability, and uh, you get the gist. What's up, Lydia? Mm. Look at how far her skull flew, dude. It's still going. <laughs> Third on the list is upgrades. As you all know, in Into the Radius 1, we can currently upgrade our guns using the upgrade system so that we can add new attachments to our guns. And essentially, Into the Radius 2 is going to follow that exact same system, except we're getting way more options in Into the Radius 2. We're not talking like one or two upgrade branches here. We're talking three. First up is our ability to change gun parameters. Now, obviously very similar to Into the Radius 1, we can change things like recoil, adjust the firing rate, or we can increase reliability. Next up is changing gun parts. This will let us change gun stats, change mechanics of the weapons, or add new attachment points. And basically what that means is, you remember when they released the, uh, the early alpha footage of Into the Radius 2? And we all saw that Makarov just chilling on the windowsill wondering why the hell does the pistol handle look like that? Well, I'm pretty damn sure it's because one of the ways that we are going to be able to change gun parts in Into the Radius 2 is we're going to get the option to either have a tactical version of a gun handle. We're also going to get the opportunity to replace stocks on different guns. This is going to be one of the ways that we can decrease the recoil for our guns in Into the Radius 2. We're even going to be able to do some crazy stuff like completely changing the way that we reload specific guns and replacing the internal chamber with external detachable magazines and this last upgrade option for guns and in into the radius 2 is going to be weapon coloring as we progress through into the radius 2 we will unlock new gun patterns put different colors and patterns on the magazines of the guns that we get i think and the attachments that we put on the guns as soon as you unlock these new colorways for your gun they will instantly apply to the gun does that mean we're not going to be able to change the color of the actual gun after we unlock a specific colorway or is there going to be like a live of all of the colorways that we unlocked for the guns in Into the Radius 2 that we can like swap between. I think it would be cool to be able to mix and match the different patterns and colorways of magazines, the gun, and the attachments. All in all though, I'm extremely excited that we're actually going to be able to color the guns differently in this game. That was one of my biggest gripes, dude. It's like we can upgrade the guns for reliability and reduced recoil, stuff like that. But unless you buy the DLC for the game, which only really comes with one one colorway it's the camo colorway you can't change the colors of any guns in the game so brother i am pumped to know that we're going to be able to unlock different colorways for the guns as we progress through the game it honestly kind of sounds like call of duty prestige gun skins i definitely wouldn't be mad about that if i'm being honest next up 
is attachments. Sure, and into the radius too, we're gonna have more freedom when it comes to upgrading our guns. But not only are we getting an increased variety of attachments in into the radius too, we're getting some special attachments that we can actually add attachments onto themselves, if that makes sense. So we're talking attachments on top of attachments, boys, multiple tiers of attachments. And apparently the developers said that this is gonna lead us into some pretty interesting territory when it comes to how weird, fun our combinations of attachments can get in into the radius too. I myself plan on creating an absolute monstrosity with at least 10 hollow sights on it. Dude, I would feel like a fly shooting that weapon. <laughs> But just to give us a little kick in the ass, the developers said we won't be able to go too crazy with all of these gun attachments because unfortunately our gun parameters are going to be impacted depending on the number of attachments we have on our gun. The things we do for realism. I'm honestly kind of nervous to even walk over here because I know the BTR is lurking in the mist. And now for the absolute fan favorite, cleaning. Cleaning is going to be like the same in Into the Radius 2. There's going to be updated visuals, obviously. Some of the tools used for cleaning are going to be different. For example, we're not going to be using toilet paper anymore. But other than that, our cleaning instruments will deteriorate over time as we use them, so we're going to have to replace them naturally. Lastly, we have sounds. The developers for Into the Radius 2 are really trying to chase authentic weapon sounds. In Into the Radius 2, they plan on using the meta sound system, which apparently, according to them, is going to allow them to produce more complex and realistic sounds for the guns. The process of creating these extremely detailed weapons is a lot harder than developing the guns in Into the Radius 1. So during early access, there are only going to be three guns available to us. But do not be worried because there are going to be a a lot more coming in future updates for the game. When Into the Radius 2 officially releases, they are planning on having 16 guns chambered in nine different calibers. This is less than an Into the Radius 1, but with how much extra effort is being put into the creation of these guns, we should be able to take these guns a lot further and enjoy them the entire time we play Into the Radius 2, especially considering we're going to have a ton of new attachment options and upgrade options. So even though we aren't technically getting as many guns as we did in Into the Radius 1, this is one that old saying, quality over quantity, definitely reigns true. Anyways, my dudes, that does it for the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you have an amazing weekend, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!